This is amazing. Now we have Gemini Advanced. This is the Gemini Ultra version. We are going to try various things with this. We are going to put Gemini to test. We have access to both Gemini Advanced and Gemini. We have an additional tier in Google One subscription. That is AI Premium. By subscribing to this, you are able to get access to Gemini Advanced. We are also going to test Gemini's programming capability from easy to expert level task. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Gemini Advanced. We're going to go through the interface, the different options available, and finally we are going to test this model. I'm really excited about this. But before going into that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. By subscribing to AI Premium in Google One, you will have access to Gemini Advanced and soon it will be available for your Gmail, Docs and more. Google Bot has been renamed to Gemini and it is the Gemini Ultra 1.0 version. If you are using Android, you can try that today. But if you are using iOS version, it's going to roll out in the coming weeks. Once after you subscribe, you will get an interface like this. Hello Mervin, how can I help you today? And you have some suggestions like help me write HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And then let's try this prompt. And I can see the speed is very fast. Even before dragging, it's completing the request. And also it's giving me the source where the details are coming from. Same like Google bot, you have the same options here a real-time response, dark mode and light mode. You can make this chat available to public and also you have extensions where you can activate various extensions provided by Google. If you don't want Google to train their model with your data, then you need to click the activity button here and then you need to click turn off. But if you turn off, your history will be off so you can't go to your previous conversation. Now we are going to try our coding test. First, it's a Python programming task and a very easy one. I've returned the sum of two numbers. I'm going to click that, copy the task and click new chat. There I'm going to paste the question and say in Python and click enter. Now I got the answer here. So going to copy this from Gemini, going to the code section and pasting it here and clicking check. So that is a pass. Next, going to an easy task, find the discount, I'm going to copy this one going to Gemini and paste it there and ask it to create the response. Now Gemini has responded. So going to copy this code. I can see the code is very detailed with all comments and things like that. So going to the code section and then clicking check. Yeah, the function name need to be dis. So it's not an error, just the function name. So I'm going to click check again. And that is correct. Coming to a medium challenge, find adjacent nodes going to copy the task and then coming to Gemini and ask it to create the program. Now Gemini has responded. So going to copy this code, going to the code section. So the function name need to be is adjacent. So going to paste this and make sure the function name is is adjacent and click check. And it is a pass. Next, going to a hard challenge, find the domain name from DNS provider, write a function and find the domain name. Copying this, going back to Gemini and going to request the solution and Gemini has responded. So going to copy the response from Gemini and then going to paste it in the code section and then click check. Seems like invalid syntax. So going to copy this and paste it in Gemini. Just making sure I copied everything correctly. Yeah, seems like it found the error. So going to copy this, going to paste it here and then check again. Error again, so going to copy again, going to give a final try and asking Gemini to fix the error. Okay, so it's asking me to retype the line of code manually, especially the area around this one. It's possible that you've copied and pasted a non-standard space character that looks like a space but is, isn't. So I'm going to do that accordingly. And there's a workaround as well. So I'm going to try both. I'm going to delete the space, create a space again, then try it. Seems like same. I'm going to apply the second solution provided here as a workaround, pasting it here and clicking the check button. Seems like that error has been fixed, but there is a new error in this one. So I'm going to mark this as a fail. Next, 
going to a very hard challenge, identity matrix. So I'm going to copy this instruction and pasting it to Gemini and asking it to create a code. It's taking probably around three to five seconds to respond for questions like these. So I'm going to copy that and let's test it here. Click check. It is a pass. That's good. I'm now going to the expert level challenge, ECG sequence. So I'm going to copy this task asking Gemini and here is the response. So I'm going to copy the response, I'm going to apply that here and click the check button. It took more than 12,000 milliseconds, so it got terminated. Going to try that again. Maybe because it's trying to use two different functions. So it's timeout error. I'm going to ask that back to Gemini and then telling it to write the code in one function. And I got the response here. Still, it's doing in two functions, but that's fine. Let's try this. Going to the test area and going to paste it and click check. It's timeout error. I'm going to do a final, final try because this is not even an error. Don't use has common factor function. Instead, write the whole code in one function because it's the same error as before. And here is the answer. So just going to copy that from Gemini. I'm going to test it here. Click check. Still the same error. So I will give this a fail. Now let's try to ask it to create a snake game in Python. Create a snake game in Python. I can see the code is getting generated. It gave me this code and it says continued below. So I'm going to type continue. So here's the continuation from the previous code and it gave me the explanation of what the code is doing. So now I'm going to copy this code, I'm going to VS Code and pasting it. I'm now going to copy the continued below code, copying it from here and pasting it here. So overall, I don't see any errors in this code. So let's run it. I'm going to install Pygame using pip. Next, Python snake.py and then click enter. And here is the snake game. I'm going to play that. So I believe you can see the snake crawling around the screen and it's trying to eat the fruit and I hit the wall and it says game over. Press Q to quit. This is amazing because it's difficult to make a large language model to create games like these. And many of the models which I tried failed to do this. In my upcoming video, I'm going to compare Gemini with ChatGPT. So stay tuned. As a overall, Google Gemini did a great job on most of those code, I didn't get any errors as such. Even the errors could be because of the way I prompted or the way I copied across and because of the processing power of the computer. So overall, I feel it's a good model, which is really competing with ChatGPT. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.